Really? Oh my goodness. Where's the star? Can you find the star? Where's the star? Good job. And where is, where's the heart? Can you show the heart? Where's the heart? Good job. Repeat after me. Past. Past. Present. Present. Simple. Simple. These are our tenses. These are our tenses. Very good. Let's try again. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, too. Well, you look awful nice today. Thank you. Yeah, You're who bought them, too? I'm handsome. Yes. What you been doing since I last saw you? Well, you see, Mr. Harvey, I've been working on my third book. I launched my online store, and I also wrote a song for my mommy. Last night I go to park. Last night I go to a park to do to do. <sighs> How can we teach or learn language well? Teachers and students can both be putting in a lot of effort and not reach their goals, while babies seem to just naturally acquire fluency. Why is that? And is there anything we can learn in the process? My name is Claudia, and today we are going to learn two important concepts in second language acquisition. According to learning psychologists, humans have two different learning systems, explicit learning and implicit learning. Explicit learning occurs when we intentionally learn, just like when we memorize vocabulary lists or listen to our teacher teach us grammar rules. Implicit learning is when we unconsciously accumulate a growing library of utterances. For example, big fat cat sounds far more natural than fat big cat to us. We know this intuitively from being repeatedly exposed to this order, not because we learned some grammar rule. So far, research seems to indicate that knowledge learned implicitly or explicitly lights up different parts of our brain and are mostly separate systems. Let's think back to the time when you learned a foreign language. Do you remember all those hours you spent on vocabulary and remembering grammar forms? And then you went to travel and you found that you couldn't string together a full sentence and have a fluent conversation with another person? That's so frustrating, isn't it? According to SLA theorists, this is probably because you were storing information in your explicit learning system instead of your implicit one. Only your implicit learning system can help you have fluent conversations. So what does all this theory about implicit and explicit learning have to do with us teachers? Well, they help us design lessons better so we can help our learners to acquire knowledge quickly. So first, we can bring awareness to patterns and rules and vocabulary to speed up the learning process which is explicit learning. And the second thing is that we focus on creating interactive activities that are meaningful and communicative. There are two benefits of that. First, our brain becomes motivated to absorb the necessary knowledge for language output. And second, we are unconsciously processing all of this input through usage. And both of these facilitate, you know what, implicit learning. Here are some different approaches you can find online that help teachers create an interactive, communicative classroom. In all these activities that follow, students are practicing listening and speaking skills while focused on understanding meaning. That's all for our first lesson. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!